Hi, I'm Marcy Koontz, and this is how my scoliosis treatment changed my life. First, let me show you where I started at, at the beginning of my scoliosis treatment, at a 42 and a half degree thoracic curve. I lived for over 20 years with this curve of postural deformity, pain, and I dressed to hide my scoliosis on a daily basis. Here's a photo of me at my friend's wedding, where I had to wear a scarf to hide my back from the strapless dress. Here's an example of me purchasing oversized shirts to hide my back. And of course, if I found a shirt that would disguise my scoliosis, my protruding shoulder, I would purchase it in many different colors uh, to hide that even though I didn't even really like the shirt. Well, on a daily basis, um, when people were behind me, it was always in the back of my mind um, were they noticing uh, my scoliosis? Were they staring at my back? And that all stemmed from somebody um, when I was younger asking me what was wrong with my back. My orthopedic doctor told me that there was nothing that I could do um, to improve my scoliosis, to improve my curve, and that it was best to avoid surgery um, because of the risk and complications. So I lived for many years uh, without hope, but I never stopped searching uh, for a new treatment, something I could do to change my situation. In this photo, you can see the postural deformity um, that I dealt with for many years. If you look at the right side, you're going to see the convex side, the side where my shoulder protrudes outward. Um, and if you follow that down, you can kind of see through my shirt where that you know, even sticks out going down into the thoracolumbar region. And then on the left side is my concave side, which really sunk in. So if you think about this um, in a three-dimensional form, um, you can imagine, you know, when I turn sideways of how much um, my right side stuck out. And you'll see that in the next photo. In this photo, again, um, from the back, you can see that right convex side, my protruding shoulder, and the concave side uh, that sinks in. And there is an image there from the side so that you can see that protruding shoulder um, and how my shoulder more leaned forward and shoulder blade really stuck out. And then again, you can see in the front photo, um, how my posture, um, I was tilted or, or leaned a little bit. Um, so just an example here of what my posture was like at the beginning of treatment. So now let's take a look at a comparison of where my spine was before and where it is now. So as discussed before, it was 42.5 degrees and now it is 33.9 degrees, which is over a 20% improvement. The yellow line represents the midline of my back. So I'm so excited to see where that line is before uh, I started treatment and now look where it is. That is so exciting. My spine has moved so much more toward the midline. Also, if you notice, I do have a necklace on in both x-rays and in my before x-ray, my charm doesn't even touch um, my spine in the x-ray, but in the updated recent x-ray, uh, look how it is situated uh, around my neck. I just love that. So next, I'm gonna show you a few more x-ray results as well as some photos of how my back and posture changed over time. But first I wanted to show you this image of the side view of the spine. And this shows um, the curve that we should have in the cervical and the lumbar region of our spine from a side view. So my doctor not only 
treated my lateral curvature of the scoliosis, but evaluated the curve in my neck and low back by x-ray. And I had a loss of curve in those areas. And so these next x-rays are going to show um, the before and now x-rays of how that has changed. So here is my x-ray of my cervical or lordotic curve before treatment and my updated x-ray. If you do a search, what you're going to find is that the cervical area has a normal lordotic range of around uh, starting at 20 degrees going up to 45 uh, degrees. And if you look at mine here, I was at nine degrees in the beginning and you can see clearly how straight my neck is. I definitely had a pretty big loss of curve there in my neck. And then the other aspect that he measured was forward head posture. And so they say for every inch of forward head posture, it can increase the weight of the head on the spine by an additional 10 pounds. And so with that, it can increase like the loading on the spine, which over time can lead to degeneration and wearing of the disc and joints in the spine. Uh, so that's what I read and it can cause other issues as well. So I had an additional 20 pounds um, for forward head posture um, before my treatment. Um, so with my updated x-ray, um, my lordotic curve was 18 uh, degrees. So if we're going by the low end of that normal range of 20, hey, I'm almost there. <laughs> so I did get an improvement from nine degrees to 18 degrees and you can definitely see um, a better curve lordotic curve there in my neck and then as far as forward head posture instead of the 20 extra pounds i now have nine um, extra pounds which was definitely um, a nice improvement as well so here is the before and current x-ray for my lumbar spine and according to Science Direct, um, the lumbar lordosis, um, the normal ranges are between 40 and 60. And so when the curvature exceeds these ranges, it's considered hyper lordosis. And if the curve is less than those ranges, then it's typically considered um, straightening or flattening of the spine. So as you can see in my before x-ray, um, my degree was less um, than that 40 to 60 degree range. So would be more considered um, like the flattening of the spine, but my updated x-ray is within the normal range. So I'm very excited about that. So next, let's take a look at some standing photos of my posture. So again, what you're seeing here is at the beginning of my treatment. This next photo is a comparison from the beginning of treatment on the left, on the right side after one year. Again, next photo, same thing from the beginning of treatment, and then the right side is after one year, showing the difference in that protruding shoulder blade. This next photo is the front, back, and side view of me in that same black and white dress um, in January of 2020, so showing the difference um, of where I'm at today. And then I'm gonna show you a comparison from the beginning of treatment to these new photos taken in January of 2020 from the front view. 
the back view and the side view, you can really see the difference in my posture in these photos. I love it. And then this next photo is again, one of those standing um, pictures taken at the beginning of treatment. And then it's a comparison to me in a swimsuit earlier this summer um, in September of 2019. So just an amazing difference. I just love looking back and seeing how far I've come. Now let's just take a real quick look at my standing posture once again at the beginning and before treatment as my doctor um, got some new equipment that allows him to do a 3D scan of my body. Um, so I just want to show you a quick reminder of what my back and posture was like before. And now look at this 3D image um, showing the difference in my back and showing the improvement in that concave and convex side of my back. I still have a 33 degree curve. So of course I still have a little bit of that convexity um, there, but it is so much improved. I would say at least 75% improved in my opinion. I mean, you can barely even see it um, with clothes on. Most people wouldn't even be able to tell anymore, which has been a huge, huge change for me. Um, and then here's a video just a couple of months ago of me at Disney World and the cast member took um, this video of me hugging Mickey Mouse um, from behind. I would have never allowed that before. Um, but now again, you can't even barely tell. If you didn't know I had scoliosis, you probably wouldn't even know a difference. So this is a scoliometer and a scoliometer is an instrument that measures trunk asymmetry and scoliosis or angle of trunk rotation. In 2015 was the first time that I've got measured with a scoliometer and you can see my numbers there. I had my doctor do this measurement again recently and you can actually see the improvement in those numbers in my angle of trunk rotation. So now let's take a look at my treatment therapies. Uh, this first therapy is vibrating cervical traction, which it's aimed at improving the cervical lordosis or treating the loss of the normal cervical curve by relaxing ligaments and soft tissues of the spine. This next one is MDP or mechanical drop piece, which affects the thoracic and pelvic spine targeting translation and rotation. Then I also um, do the Eckert table, which is a flexion distraction therapy providing gentle intermittent traction to the spine. I also get adjusted and each patient is adjusted according to their own unique curve pattern or x-ray configuration. In addition to that, it's also combined with a type of massage that's geared towards relaxing those deep spinal muscles. Then I also do auto response training. Um, this challenges the scoliotic spine and the neurological reflexes causing the torso, pelvis, head to reposition and shift in a more favorable position. And uh, now cantilevers vary uh, depending on a person's curve type. I also started using the Scully Smart Activity Suit several years after beginning treatment as another tool to fight scoliosis. And this is my scoliosis doctor, Dr. Nick Weddle, who's been with me from the very beginning, helping me fight scoliosis and totally helped me transform my life. And Dr. Brian DeVorney is the amazing doctor who led the team in developing the torso trainer that I use for my daily home exercises. And I so much appreciate him being a part of my journey. So here's the chart I use to track my progress. It shows where I started from to where I am now, and it has each x-ray improvement noted. So this has been quite a journey. Scoliosis is a lifetime fight, but I'm not giving up. Can I continue to achieve results? I don't know, but one thing is for sure, I'm gonna keep trying. If anything, I'm still working to halt future progression. 
One thing to be aware of on journeys like this is the negativity and doubt from people you don't know on social media. So I celebrated each victory throughout my journey. And when my curve went from 42.5 to 41 to 38, there were definitely some doubters who weren't supportive. You know, if I would have let them influence me to quit, I never would have achieved the results that I have. I had to learn to filter out the negative, which is, it's not always an easy thing to do. But it was warriors like this who really kept me encouraged. Um, Great results, Marcy. I remember your first follow-up with some reduction and people doubting the results, but you always believed in yourself, your achievement and treatment. Way to go. You are a true inspiration to so many. All the best. So just goes to show, don't give up. Keep going. So what I want you to know is that there is hope. I found it. If you need it, I hope you find it. And I want to end with this quote, which I love. Every attack is designed to make you a warrior. Every obstacle, an overcomer. And every challenge, a champion. So don't waste what you're going through. Become something great.